I do believe there are other attorneys in the building. Yes. Yes, there are. We're meeting with other people, and one of which I believe is your city manager or village manager. I have no idea. Tall African American gentleman. I have no idea. Yes. Yeah, that's Mr. I've met him on the way in. No, I walked in with Mr. Mahoney. Oh. So I said, you're a lawyer, I can tell. Absolutely. Yeah. Ah, there he is. Mahoney. Yeah. Since we have a huge crowd of people here, a lot of people here, my name is Kerry Collins, I'm the board's attorney, and what we're going to do is because there is a lot to be discussed, the board will call this as a special meeting, and what we're doing is we're trying to determine the effects of this incident which occurred. If somebody's here for some other business other than the issue that came up with regard to Mr. Griegel, we're not going to be discussing anything but that, but we will have to go into executive session. So the thing is, if there's anything anybody wants to ask, we're currently in the investigation stage. I think we have a really good grip on everything, and actually the amount of money that's in question for the pension board it is not an astronomical amount. So, yes ma'am? When you go into executive session, will you discuss finances? Probably. Uh, that's, that has to be public. Well, you mean finances, finances that we talk about dollars and cents? Yeah. 
whatever you're talking about. Right? Well, if we talk about suing somebody for money, that's litigation. Mm -hmm. So that's litigation. That's true. Yeah, that that would be it. So no, we're not no, we're not talking about investments or anything like that. No, this this I don't think is going to have any effect on the financial situation of the pension fund. Just going to be a question of as per usual, like what pensions might be. Yes. Who are the trustee investigation? Can you explain what is also part of our investigation? Sure. Yeah. But if, if you'd like, what you can do is everybody has a fiduciary responsibility. Right now, exactly. we're just trying to determine with all the board members here what the level would be, and we're going to go into executive session to determine exactly what we know. There are other people meeting right now, which I believe is on the same topic, in different rooms. So this is not the only meeting that's going on. Mr. Briegel was not exclusively involved with the pension fund. He is also involved okay. with the, the village as you well. So, okay. but, um, I'll try to try to answer your question. You want to give me a long answer? So I'll send you this information. I would like you to be here. Pardon? I would like to be here. Just be with here. So everybody can hear. Motion. What a fiduciary is? Yeah. Somebody who is obligated to you. Go ahead and call us forward. I'll just let him call to tax to residents of the village, we have a fiduciary obligation to the participants of the public. We have a new We're at 1414. Okay, we'll call this meeting. Special meeting. I don't think we're going to be for talking about that. We'll be going into executive session very quickly. I just wanted to just let you know. We need to move the agenda this meeting to the litigation system in an audit. And I'm going to take a motion for executive session for the litigation. I'll second the motion. We need to move. Oh, I'm sorry. No move. I'll second it. Okay, it's moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, with that we will adjourn for the executive session and we will be back out. Okay, in view of the fact that we no longer have a village treasurer, um, and we need to operate, pay bills, etc., um, we have a resolution here which will be signed by all of us. Um, removing James Griegel is no longer a trustee or on the board. Can you use the mic, please? You may have to turn it back on. Oh. I'm going to see the switch. I'm to pull it up. Pull it on. Should be on the side, I think. It'll it's come like on. a button, but it's not doing anything. It'll come on. Test? 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 Okay. You're done. <laughs> Boom. Okay. I am a rock star after all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have resolved by the Salt Coast Police Pension Fund, which was created and authorized to administer and control and manage the fund according to provisions of 40 ILCS 5 slash 1 dash 113. Then, one, Jim Griegel is no longer a trustee on the board of the, nor the treasurer for Salt Village. Two, all investment accounts shall be in the name of mayoral appointee William Bishop and trustee Rebecca Salver. Salisbury pursuant to the guidelines set forth by the Illinois Department of Insurance. This action is taken at a regular meeting on the 11th day of January 2016. Okay. That's a motion. Do you want to second to that? Yeah. We have a motion for to adopt this resolution. Motion to adopt the resolution. So Coast Police Pension Board of Trustees. I'll second it. Mike, two seconds. I just want to read that one. What, so Mike, please. Pass the mic. Pardon? Yeah, pass the mic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, more, move. More than one rock star.
this Okay, my, my question, Dwight, this is, this is to put me and Bishop on because obviously we, we need to take care of these finances, but I, I just don't see how we're going to be able, are you going to be able to do this on your end for the wire transfers because we're not going to be able to, to bring the money back, is that what, is that what this is? For the, I'm oh, sorry, it's my... Yeah, what that resolution does, it just authorizes who will be named as co-trustees on the investment account to Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade. You already have standing authorizations to transfer money from the Charles Schwab account to the retirees every month. And you have standing authorization to move money from that account to the pension funds checking account at U.S. Bank. And in the reverse, you can move money to Schwab from the U.S. Bank checking account to the pension so this is strictly for the trustees to be named on the investment accounts. Thank you. Make a motion. Make I'm a motion to move Bill Bishop as a co-signer. Rebecca Salisbury, I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Keep going, you get all the checks. <laughs> no. How many, how many retirees are not direct deposit? We're going to need that. We need this is at the meetings when we sign checks. Right. Right. It wasn't Deanna still getting a hard no. copy check? No. No, no more. He hasn't for a long time. But why don't we keep this in the station? Well, you're going to keep it here. Well, we're going to keep it in the locked file. In the locked file. Yeah, hard file. Yeah, exactly. Well, then, I'll your signature, sir? Okay, I received several checks here from the village for, for the amount of money that it has collected uh, from the active duty officers to go into their our pension fund under their names. And I will be turning these over to Dwight for the Schwab account. You want to read them into the record, Mr. President? Oh, I was going to do that. Okay, let me see who this is in the name of. I don't see a name, it's just their che checks are made out to us, really four. Those are contributions? Right, I'm just trying payroll. to. payroll, just read off. Uh, okay, come on, this, uh, we have a contribution for payroll for uh, $5,147.18. Another one for $4,936.59, so $9,476.59, $5,436.16, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147.18, $5,147
for deposit to the Schwab account. Motion to the. You got a second. Sure, motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Here's our Xerox copy for our filing cabinet of the two checks tender. Okay, we're going to need to take you over to the bank and get you on that. Okay, uh, we're going to need an audit. So we're going to need a motion. Forensic audit. Forensic audit. We'll have to fund by our accounting, our accounting firm, uh, Mr. McCormick. Uh, I'd entertain a motion for that. I make a move. I make a move. I make a motion to reach out to our accountant to get the uh, pricing in a, a contract for a forensic audit to check all aspects of this account. We're going to have to ask them what the last audit was, too. It ended April 15, 2000, April 30, 2015. So we need from, we know we need April 2015 to current. I make a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Who's reaching out to McCormick? Thank you, sir. Hey, any further business? Well, we're not talking about further business. Can we do any other business besides this? Only what's on the agenda. I just so what does it I would like the definition for the bond. Um, yeah, just for the just for the record, the treasurer, the treasurer. Yeah, yeah push the little button until the green comes on. I figured that out about this song. <laughs> okay, uh, under the pension code, the treasurer is responsible for holding a surety bond, and we believe that. Uh, surety bond should be sufficient to cover um, the amount of money that on a preliminary basis we believe may be missing from the one checking account. At the present time, there was no way that there was any access to the primary investment account held by Charles Schwab and U.S. Bank. So uh, there's a limited amount and we will be investigating about the surety bond held by Mr. Griegel through the village of South Village. Thank you. Well, this is a bill that was sent to us. Can you use the mic, please? We can hear you. I received the bill, South Village Pension Fund. For six thousand four hundred dollars for services rendered in connection with preparation of the audit for two thousand statements ended April thirtieth, two thousand fifteen. So this is an outstanding bill that was not paid. Did we agree to pay this? Or? I think that it previously, I do believe the board had previously. And we have to have that. that. We did. The only thing that held us up was a, I asked Chief Kowalski to actually confirm with Mohan that the that the village had actually received the audit before we tendered the last payment for the end of the work. And uh, that's the only thing that was holding up to that bill. Okay. The, other, the other bill was for some Collins and Raja. Mm -hmm. um, you want to handle that now or the court of the We'll wait till the court of Okay, any further business? And, and that bill would be legitimate because we do have to have the audit through <clears throat> April 30th, 2015, is mm -hmm. part of this entire process. We already passed that. And it's really ratification. Right. Ratification. So are we going? Are we going to pay it? Or? No, we're talking about this one. Yes, yeah, same one. I have two copies. No. Ratified payment of the the uh, six thousand. What was it? Yeah. Six thousand four hundred dollars. Table two. Macaulay. Herritzi, Salvador, and Company Ltd. This is our certified public accountant who completed our audit for uh, that went to May 1st to April 30th, 2015. It's also going to be the same company we're going to reach out to for the forensic audit uh, to investigate this current incident. Motion second. 
That was a motion. To pay that bill. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'd like to add, I'd like a copy of the audit from the village if you haven't been given it yet. Okay. So we need to put it in writing this time. We'll, we'll add that to the FOI request. There you go. Any further business? I'd also like copies of uh, the bank statements that go to Mulholland and Regal. Okay, just for the record, um, for the, let me the, the uh, just for the record, uh, the check statements were going directly to Mohan, the finance director, and Jim Griegel, the treasurer. The board itself was not receiving copies of the check, 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 checkbook statements from the bank. And in part, that is because the statute requires the treasurer slash finance director to be custodian of the funds and of the account and that's by state law, and they therefore the board itself was not receiving these uh, because they were not passed on by either Mr. Mohan or Mr. Regal to the board. Anything else? A motion to adjourn? Where's the public comment? Yeah, they get to the public comment. Who is responsible to review all checks written out? Is there just who is responsible to review all finances? By statute, it's the treasurer. And he's the only one? It's the only one by statute. Well, all our, all our bills one. have to be approved by all of us, by the board, before they're paid. And the only two parties who are receiving the, the bank statements were were Mr. Griegel and then the finance director, Mohan. Am I correct? Correct. Yes. The board itself did not receive copies of the check and statements. So when a check is written, how many people are signers on those checks? Well, there's two signers on it, but the banks nowadays, because of the change in the banking system, they no longer really check that, so it really means nothing. It's in-house records that we keep for the two signatures. It has nothing to do with the bank. The bank will not check the signature. If there's one signature, maybe reject. No, it just, uh, so nobody reviews those checks as they're written and goes out. Once they're out, whoever cashes them at whatever bank, there is no check on the signatures until everything comes back in the statements. Yeah, and we have an ongoing investigation by outside parties so in terms of explanation as to details, we have to be very careful as to what we can actually tell you. The Federal Bureau of Investigation is investigating this now. Right. Now, the stuff that was on social media stating the time frame, so doesn't the bank throw out a, a, a net and say, because if I write a, 10 checks to my account, I get notified from my bank. This doesn't happen with your accounts? No. And if it did, it would go to the custodian of the funds, which under state law and is required by our oversight board, the Department of Insurance, is the treasurer. They place all the fault, they put much of the responsibility on the treasurer, which apparently is something that uh, the legislature is going to have to reconsider. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly. <laughs> <laughs> so the now, president is correct. So if I understand you correctly, there's insurance that will cover some of these funds that are. I believe if there's a surety bond, and a surety bond is an amount that's placed. That, that's that a surety bond is put in place for situations such as this. And if there is such a surety bond as there should be under statute then it would cover the amounts of money that are missing, at least under information of belief. Yes, ma'am? In order, entities oh, that have a good thing is too, if you would, usually with the citizen comments, we should also have you tell your name and address. My name is Heidi Parker, and I live in Sauk Village. Um, 
what are the experiences that I have on other committees when there is a fund, an account, normally that's discussed in the meetings, how much money is in the account, what it has been spent for, there's an accounting done. And I'm sure Mr. Moha probably doesn't know what is discussed by the board. So he's probably not aware of the money that's been allocated to be spent. So really, it should be somebody else on the board that should also get the statements, or at least verify that everything is on the up and up. Mr. Griegel was. But he was the only person on the board, though. He was, he was the treasurer of the board. The yep. statements would go to him. And Mr. Mohan would also get a copy. Wouldn't, shouldn't it be another person on the board? Or we, would, uh, we, would, we respectfully have requested that the statements be provided by Mr. Griegel. Would he not bring the statements to the meetings? Should they not be part of the meetings? That's what we'd like. That's Apparently what, there is a reason should we be weren't kind of responsible for that, I think. The trustees are responsible for the money being spent here. So the board should be responsible for the money that's being spent yes, out of the are. pension fund. And he, he was responsible for preparing the reports, Mr. Griegel. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the problem. Is so maybe that's a change that could happen? That's something that we are doing right now. That's why we have different people signatories. They are also the people who are getting the statements in the future. Okay. We okay. have the other statements. When was the last audit performed by the board? We just completed it, and that's what we just approved. So it was just completed April, April 30th, 30th, 2015. April 30th, 2015. Wasn't there one due last year? Pardon? When was the last one done? It was completed April 30th, 2015. No, that was the effective date. Uh, right. That was and the last audit we had. Financial audit. No, I think she wants to know when was this audit completed yes. and provided to the board, right? Right. You want to know when we got to see the yeah. audit. When was the one from yeah, was... April 15th, 15 provided to the board of trustees? It was just, I, I believe the audit was just completed. In fact, the board has requested a copy of the audit. Okay. The audits are usually anywhere from three to six to nine months after the end of the, the end of the year, which would be April 30th. I know the audits have always not been there or been late in the past. That was a problem. That's why we hired the new account. And it was provided this year, and we were supposed to get it on time. And I believe Jim Griegel had it. He said we were supposed to get us a copy the next meeting. I think that was a there was a problem. But I don't think that audit would have really disclosed what we did. Well, I'm not saying that it would be real. Yeah, it'll be the, the, the current audit. Right. One we just approved. The one we just approved to get rolling. So copy, a pet couch, soft village. So the copies of all these statements that Mr. Griegel has, has that been turned over to someone to investigate? The board or does he has still requested have them from the bank, and we have received copies, <coughs> and we're currently reviewing them. We did that immediately to determine what items need to be further investigated. Rose Ketchum, South Village. Um, do you, do the board members have any training to do this? The board, the board of trustees are required to undergo 16 hours of training each year, which includes reviews into audits and accounting. Um, it also includes actuarial studies, investments, legal updates, and all the board members have complied with the 16 hours of training, and it's done by professionals. So the, the, the trustees, in terms of, of what has taken place, um, have really done their fiduciary duty. The problem here is the person in which the greatest amount of trust is put by statute and the Department of Insurance, the treasurer, uh, unfortunately, is where our problems lie. They seem to think you can't trust policemen and firemen 
but you can trust treasures. And it's our money. <laughs> and so far, and, and of all the cases I've heard, and we are familiar with not only here, but other places where it's much worse, uh, that in each incident, the active members of the pension fund, the policemen and the firemen, have never been accused of or found to be at any time um, tampering with any of the funds of the pension fund. In, in the last two instances, it has been delegate or indicated that it's the person who's been the finance director or treasurer of the fund that did it here in the other town out west. Hope we answered all your questions. Yeah, I do hope that there will be a change though, that the board is more aware of the money going out. We and will be scrutinizing these accounts and developing an internal process, tightening up as much as reasonably possible so we can still perform our duties as a pension fund. Uh, the fact is that every transaction henceforth will probably be checked by the members of the board individually who are signatories. The checking account, we will balance that every month. And then uh, we will also check with the investment company to determine all the funds are delivered where they should be delivered. We do get monthly statements from our investment company and they hold most of our assets. And there's a third party custodian. And that third party custodian, the uh, resolution we just passed, made one member of the board and the appointed member by the mayor as the uh, other member who's going to, the only people who can authorize any sort of transactions. And they'll require two people to do it. I did have another question. Uh, the money goes to, to the investment firm? Yes. Is there a checking account needed? What is we the need check a tre checking account because there's a limitation on the number of checks that can be written out of the investment thing, otherwise there's an additional charge. So what is being paid out to the checking account? Our normal bills. Bills. Our bills. For example, the audit. Our audit. Our, our attorney's oh, fees. Costs. I just wonder training. what kind of expenses they are. Training. 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 Training? Yeah, when we go to training, okay. the yeah. fund pays for that. We don't have to pay for it ourselves. We are volunteers. I just didn't see a reason for it because the money well, goes we, to the it's, pension. It's you know? basically what we have is we have a checking account, which would be like a petty cash account for day-to-day -day operations and writing those checks. And we're very vigilant. We don't keep a lot of money in that. It just so this... Can't. And the statute and Department of Insurance required that the treasurer sign the checks. So once the treasurer signs the check, we have to depend upon the, the other signature being there to be proper, appropriate. And that's part of the investigation. And who would be the other signature? We really can't say at this point. We we don't know who signed some of these checks. So. so she just said that there's a small amount of money in this account. So how did there be enough money for this individual yeah. to get that much money to do his? I mean, if there's a minimal amount of money in that account, where did that money come from? It it it, it was done over a period of time, but it wasn't. I don't believe any of it was done prior to the water that was just completed. So it's just been recent development. Preliminary. And we're, that's why we're doing the forensic audit. Well, someone put out on Facebook, which we know that's a bunch of garbage, but when they specify from April to November, this is when this occurred. How did that information get out to social media? I have no idea. Didn't come from us. We weren't informed of it. We learned about this on Facebook. Nobody's, nobody's advised this board. That's how we found out. Curious. Okay. Whatever's out there is pure speculation or somebody's idea of just information to stick out there because it makes them feel important. But if it comes back to the fact that that 
that makes them feel important <laughs> and they have pertinent information, that's not right either. Well, the so, thing of it is, I have no idea where they got it from. We have, we are on, there is a Federal Bureau of Investigation case on this. And therefore, it's very limited what we can put out, very limited what we would say anyway. Obviously, each and every one of us at this table that is on the board is going to be interviewed by the FBI. I would prefer to be a witness and not a person of interest. So, I'm not going to tell you anything that I can't, that it shouldn't. And besides that, it's our money. This is my major income. I'm the retiree on the board. Right. I had another question which just came up about the amount of money in the fund. Why is there so much money in the fund? In everything the checking account. Well, number one, there isn't so much money, depending on what your view is. And the dollar amounts uh, that are in there, that have been allegedly taken, etc., is all part of that investigation. So, I really is, can't tell you. But it seems like you would only have enough money in there to pay for audits and to pay for training. Nothing exactly. We have enough money to pay our bills. And when the money goes down, yeah. then we have to get a transfer yeah. to, to put it back in. Which is all under investigation. Which is all part of the investigation. then we probably have to have a meeting here yep. instead of the conference room. So if other people want to come to the meeting, if you would let us know so we can get the right accommodations. January 19th, I believe. 21st. 21st is the next meeting. <laughs> In, a, in appreciation, uh, whatever we have our meeting at, I appreciate it. if anybody starts talking, but you have a mic close by, we're here to hear what's going on, to find out what's going on. And if, if that's the case, then stay in the back room. You know, it, it's, I'm, I'm quite aggravated right now at the moment of it, but this is what I'd appreciate if you would use your microphones whenever you talk. Appreciative. Thank you. Thank you. I make a motion to adjourn 15, 18 hours. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Adjourn.